Hello. 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 I'm late. Uh, oopsie. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Flawless. Flawless stretch. Always important to start with a good stretch. Right, ladies? Right? Am I right, ladies? Important to start with a good stretch. <laughs> I decided pajamas today because I'm late. And also pajamas feel uh, spooky game appropriate. Am I right? How's everybody doing? Who's here? Hi, Boundary. Hello. Hello, Daddy Link. Hello. Do I like lamps? Yes. Yes, I do. I've arrived. Well, I, thank God, Galaxy Girl. I was worried. Hello, Draco. Hello. And hello, Barry. Gas station. Gas situation pizza? Or do you mean gas station pizza? What is a gas situation pizza? A pizza that gives you gas, maybe. Pizza with beans. Do people put beans on pizza? Walmart pizza. Is the Walmart pizza pre-prepared pizza sold at Walmart or is it like frozen pizza? I have a lot of questions about these. I'm going to search bean pizza right now, actually. Hi, oddly modly. Hi. Oh, you know what? <laughs> okay. There are some things that have been off for like ever. Oh, okay. So first of all, Turned off the Furby so that Buddy didn't have to become Furby. Mostly because I didn't want him to have to figure out how to switch to Furby. Turning the Furby back on. Also, um, we're doing tarot. Tomorrow? We're doing tarot tomorrow. So I'm not going to put on one card readings because I probably won't actually be able to get to them. But we're going to be doing tarot actually a lot this month. So if you're a person who likes tarot... Keep an eye out. Oh, I thought we were doing three. Oh, I think I ended up having to move one of them. But maybe one of the chill streams will do some more tarot. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Today's not my best day, so. Just be nice to me, please. Warm up gas station. Pass station. Bean pizza. That's right. Bean pizza. Is there bean pizza? Yes, there is a Heinz bean pizza. That's supposed to taste like baked beans. It looks like a normal pizza, but with just beans on it. I will post it in Discord. I'm going to post it in food, even though it's dubiously food. The pizza. Missed opportunity to call it the pizza. And then somebody has put, what is this? Baked bean pizza. Oh, this is, you guys, this is not good. I'm also going to post this for posterity. This person, bless this person. This must just be a nightmare to, imagine living your life like this. Four tortillas. Here's the recipe, okay, guys? Four tortillas. Cooking spray oil. A 15-ounce can of baked beans. So you're not even getting, you're not getting a whole can of beans. Be, be clear about that. Have a cup of grated Edam cheese. Four tablespoons of reduced fat sour cream. Of course, we cannot have, we can't be having full fat sour cream out here in the streets. Half an avocado cubed, one red onion slice, and a cup of freshly ch chopped coriander. Instructions. Two instructions. Heat the grill to medium. Place the tortillas on a baking tray and spray with oil. Grill. Is it grilling if you're putting them on a baking tray? Okay. Grill bottom side up for two minutes or until brown. Remove from the grill. Flip over and top with beans. Sprinkle with cheese. Place under the grill until the cheese is melted and golden. Transfer the tortillas. This is step two. Okay, that was step one. Step two. Transfer tortillas to plates. Top each tortilla with sour cream, avocado, red onion, and coriander. Eat with a knife and fork. Or eat slices with your hands. How fun. Ma'am, this is beans on a tortilla. I mean, I'm not saying this is bad food. 
it's fine food. But this is this is fully I crawled out from under my bed at 3 a.m. food. Am I wrong? This is a tortilla with beans on it. It's got four and a half stars. It doesn't sound disgusting. It just like, can you imagine like thinly slicing onions and like putting fancy cheese on this? This is this is a t bean tortilla. I feel very gaslit by this recipe. I'm not going to lie. Also, thank you for the self-care break. Sorry, I'm just having a moment with this. So you have Tara, my wife wanted a reading today and I'm so rusty. I almost reached out to ask you if you agreed with my interpretation. Barry, I'm sure you did amazing. How long? I don't know how long I can stay. Oh, you're good. Don't worry. This is going to be very chill. You stay as long as you feel good and happy and chill, but I never get scared. So together we'll be safe. If it's just beans, cheese, sauce, and bread, but I don't know. It's just... It's just baked beans. It's just, I, like, I could just, like, I'm not going to lie, you guys. For br lunch, basically every day that Buddy is in our house, he opens up a can of beans and he just eats it. Like, not out of the can. Like, he heats it up. But, like, and I feel like that is a more satisfying and quick and healthy meal than this cheese bean tortilla thingy. Also, it makes four. So is this, like, do you give this to your family? Does he season the beans? They are flavored already beans. What flavor are your beans that you eat, buddy? They're baked beans. Maple, baked bean. He gets different ones. But yeah, he puts salt and pepper on them. But it's not like it's not like black beans. Like he doesn't just like open a can of black beans and just pour it out and microwave it. It's like baked beans in a can. It's like a meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. But he's a, a goblin. Just like some, some dry kidney beans. Just dry, yeah. Just crunchy, crunchy kidney beans. Sounds terrible. Sounds like something college student makes. That's what I'm saying. After getting high and they can't go grocery shopping. Which, like, again, like, that's no shade to this tortilla, but I just feel like it's on healthyfoodguide.com. Oh my God, there's a recipe for healthy gravy. Okay, we're, we're a little bit distracted, but. What's healthy gravy? <laughs> okay. First of all, it says it's under the category of roasts listed as healthy gravy. And then the photo is, it says photographer, iStockphoto.com. So this is not a picture of the gravy you made, ma'am. And then the author is Bronwyn King, who is a, a New Zealand registered nutritionalist. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? It's the first ingredient is three tablespoons of fat free juice. And then it has an asterisk. What do you mean? Three tablespoons of fat free juice. Juice? Like meat juice. Okay. Two tablespoons of flour. Sure. There's make a you can make a roux. Flour's good. Cornstarch also acceptable. One teaspoon of mustard. Two cups of chicken stock. If you have extra fat free juice, use this and make up to the stock amount. Instructions, place juice in a small saucepan with flour and mustard. Mix well. Slowly add stock and cook until thickened. Season to taste. If lumpy, strain. <laughs> Girl, flour and mustard? For those of you who don't know, when you make gravy, normally you make a roux, right? So you like cook out the flour with some fat. But obviously, this is a fat-free recipe, so. And then asterisk, fat-free cooking juice. When cooking roast chicken, cut the corner off the bag. You got flagged for white person. <laughs> you got flagged for white person. 
<laughs> it's all good. I is good, oddly modly. No shade or ill will to any white person out here in the streets. I just want you to know that if you're a white person, you're so valid for that. <laughs> the Moth Bomb stream is a safe place for white people. <laughs> I'm sorry, fat-free juice. Not an actual name, just juice. That's what I'm saying, out of the bag. Out of the bag? Like, I guess maybe if you got like a chicken, like a frozen whole chicken, sometimes it's in a bag. But I feel like normally when I used to, I used to buy whole chickens the and break them down, they would be like- and my lack of melanin in my juicy ass. <laughs> they took my gravy and my melanin. <laughs> the alien took my melanin. <laughs> You know what? That's so right. Because if, if, if any of the black people on the space station, have we seen a black person? Did Waylon Yudani not send black people to space? <laughs> no, in Alien the movie, there's a black guy. And he does good in the movie, right? No, they took my lack of melanin. They replaced it with melatonin. You're just sleepy now. Now you're still white, but also sleepy. <laughs> like canned chicken. I don't think so. Like I used to get like chicken, like a whole chicken would be like on a tray, like wrapped with. I guess chicken can come in a bag. That's whatever. Cut the corner of the bag. Allow the juices to empty into a jug or bowl. Sure. Refrigerate juice. Okay, we're done here. The fat will sit on the juice's surface. That's oh, okay. Separate the fat from the liquid using a fat separator. Like I can't, not a spoon or something. Okay, has a spout at the base of the vessel. Okay, My yeah, skin where has you? Some I see. Shade of UV light, and now I am see through. My skin has become a strange shade. You're, you know that one. Uh, you're like when in. Uh, in anime, they try to make a cat albino, like a dude albino, and so he's just paper white. Like, he's paper white. Like, they just don't color him in. That's the color. You <laughs> Do they mean broth? I, I don't understand. Do you cook the chicken in the bag? Have you guys ever cooked a chicken in a bag? I've cooked a lot of chickens. And now I identify as trans parent. My pronouns are who and where. My pronouns are who and where. So valid. Hi, Bucky. I don't want to be rude because, like, I've, I mean, I'm not the only person who makes chicken. There's lots of good food that's prepared in ways that I don't recognize. But, like, so is the juice, like, the blood when you give a raw chicken? I'm legitimately confused. Or do you cook the chicken in the bag? Like a roasting bag? Because if you cook it in a bag, it's going to be, like, like, the skin is going to be, like, damp. Which, like, if you're steaming a chicken or something makes sense. But I feel like if you're roasting it, part of the point of roasting it is for the skin to get, like, crispy. Is there an ingredient list? This is literally one. The first ingredient is three tablespoons of fat-free juice with an asterisk. And this is the asterisk section explaining how to obtain the fat-free juice. I think you it's implied that you're cooking the chicken in the bag because as when cooking roast chicken cut the corner off the bag. Wow. I just don't get it. I just Oh, there's a healthy mince pie. Not we need to leave this website. I need to go. Joke on some people, this is hurting and me. They did not realize it was a joke. What to eat if you're ADD? Where we're valid. <laughs> what to eat if you've got ADHD? Fucking anything. Tell me. Have a meal. No, no. I want to know what they think. Actually, for don't forget to have a meal today. <laughs> Just eat at all. <laughs> oh, they're explaining what ADD is. You, did you know that you're not neurotypical, buddy? Oh, they're not showing me this. Oh, oh, I, I have to sign up. I have to log in to read this article. I think it says to eat breakfast. Can you just X out of it right there? I tried. And then it takes me to like an advertisement. Eat breakfast. Make protein a priority. Fish. Are you eating plenty of fish, buddy? 
Drinking coffee may help. Have you found that coffee helps with your ADD? <laughs> Snack on walnuts. <gasps> Obviously. I am going to keep IT about this. Can avoid foods like help broth. with ADD? No, girl. No, it's a brain. My Your brain is shaped different. Oh, my God. I hate it here. I want to know what the mince pie is, though. I want to look at this weird mince pie. It's also made by Bronwyn. Oh, it has pastry on top. And it's made of whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour pastry on top of like this pot. Okay, we need to go. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This bean tortillas is really fucked me up. Hi, Omega Boomer. How are you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me catch up on chat. The juice of what? I think it's a chicken juice. But like, who calls it that? Like the... I don't know. I can't. Not throw shade, but I've used that joke on some people. They did not realize it's a joke saying my problems of who and where were valid. <laughs> I'm just validating you. I'm just validating you. You know what? You know, if if that's where you're at, <laughs> then I just want you to feel welcome and safe. My sister said that we had to share the restroom. What? She chose the right sink and told me to set up my stuff on the left side. A toothbrush, she pays a mouthwash. She's entire civilization of things. I can explain. It's because she washes like her face and things. What do boys wash their face with? Oh, I was explaining to me the Roman Empire thing. How often are you thinking about the Roman Empire? What to eat when you have ADD, literally ADHD. Keep it a buck. This juice sounds like broth. I think it's supposed to be like the broth, like the cooking, like the leftover juice from when you like cook a chicken, I guess. But like. That's what gravy is usually made of. So you're telling me I'm going to roast it? This is the other thing I don't get. You roast the chicken, okay? The chicken's done. It's cooked. Then you got to put their juices in the fridge so you can separate the fat so you can get fat-free juice. But then how long is that going to take? You're telling me you have to wait like half an hour for my to eat gravy? Like, you make the gravy right away. This is, I can't. I wash it with air. You got to wash your face, baby. Yeah, you don't need like a face wash, but I recommend one. Cetaphil makes a good one that's cheap. Cheap, cheapo Filippo. I don't really like to do like skin care um, because let's be for real. Your mom doesn't get pimples. She's blessed. Um, her face is blemish free. Um, and that's a privilege not everybody has. Having said that, though, I wash my face with Cetaphil. I think that's it. I don't know what it's called. That's it. Yeah. And then moisturize. Just have broth, for real. Use dish soap for shampoo. That's not real. Because you came into chat, Bucky. You came into the Discord. You're asking about hair care. So if you're washing your hair with dish soap. I have something to say about that. I actually do have something to say about that. To be very for real. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-dee. <laughs> I, um, okay, so dish soap it contains detergents that are specifically for stripping oils and things, and it's actually not good to use it on your skin because it's, it, it, bre it breaks a moisture barrier that naturally collects on your skin. There's like a layer of sebum of like natural oil that builds up on your skin, especially on your face or your scalp. So when you use dish soap, it breaks that and it can actually leave you vulnerable, um, to a bunch of stuff. So... Using dish soap as hand wash is like, whatever. Especially you're not doing it all the time, but. Women just don't understand the male power to tell liquid to do the thing right. I've teach you all mentioned shampoo. I thought so, I was like, this is not real. Bucky's not actually using dish soap as shampoo. And I was like, should I, it's like not good for you. So should I say something? I feel kind of mean. Since you brought it dish up, Parker, the black eyed alien does die. That's true, everybody soap. dies except for Sigourney. Sarge is killed by the aliens, and Private Frost is killed by Friendly Fire. In Alien 3, Dylan is killed by the alien. In Alien Resurrection, Christy gets hit by acid blood, then killed by the aliens. The alien structure is not great towards black people. Yeah, but they're there, and that's a W. <laughs> Equal opportunity alien murder. Throw mom in a circle. Woo. Dish soap contains dish soap, which may contain dish soap and dish soap. Stop. 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 Yeah, black guy in Alien 1, he does okay. I mean, he gets eaten, but everybody gets eaten. The only person who does almost as good as Sigourney is Robot Guy. And Robot Guy's like... Don't forget that Sigourney also dies evil. in Alien 2. 
Sigourney dies in Alien 2? Is that real? I remember in Alien 2, she, like, fights the alien queen in, like, the exoskeleton thing, and there's, like, a kid. <laughs> and she's like, ah, screaming. Get away from her, you bitch. Get away from her, you bitch. That's right. It's iconic. I can't believe I didn't Buckle remember that. It's actually a really good moment. Get old nerd. Very and good. She throws the alien out yeah. of the the original, um, sorry to bring Harry Potter mentioned trigger warning, but when uh, uh, Mama Weasley is fighting Bellatrix and she calls her a bitch, also iconic. You got to give it up. That was an iconic moment. Spoiler? For Conker's Bad Fur Day oh in the final fight sequence, the final boss battle is a total parody of that whole final battle from Alien 2 Alien is good. 2. You ha you're in like a loader mech and everything. I do remember the mech in Conker's Bad Fur Day. And, and like the last, the last thing is he like knocks her out of the airlock and True. Like, get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> I really <laughs> liked story. Alien Two. I don't remember a lot about Alien Three except for there were puppy aliens, doggos, in Alien Three. There were like a lot of aliens, but there's also puppers. Important. Do you know what my favorite alien movie is? It's Alien vs. Predator. Why? Because I love Predators. Don't clip that. And I love that the Predator just like makes friends with that black lady. He just makes friends with her. And she makes like a spear out of an alien tail. Iconic. Alien vs. Predator Pog. Alien vs. Predator Pog. <laughs> alien vs. Predator is very Pog. Anyway, <clears throat> thank you for the three or three bits, Bucky. Hold on, let me go back and chat. In Predator 2, she picks a black guy target. Uh, in Predator 2, I don't remember Predator 2 very well. But I do remember Predator 1, iconic moments. Got a roll. Thanks for throwing things, reminding me. She dies in 3, does she? I don't remember that. But I don't remember 3 very clearly. 10, 26 is pretty good. A 2... A th two threes and a zero. Lucky. Zero very lucky. That's why Ford is called resurrection. Does they resurrect her? She dies in three and not in two. Got it. If I was black, I would simply not be on a spaceship. I f feel like most black people have the sense to be like, I'm not signing up to go to Mars because I'm going to die there. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, I can see some really disturbing parallels being drawn. There's, you know, I'm not saying... I see some really disturbing parallels being drawn. I'm not saying black people are smarter. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they're more suspicious. And really, sometimes that is the same thing. Hi, Papa Duke. How are you doing? I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Love Mama Weezy or Iconic, truly. I'd really. like sure to see that. labor unions hit Mars before people... And then they make a movie them. about the young predators called Child Predators. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm back. I'm back in chat. Yeah, the the it's because we're sitting on the waiting screen for freaking alien. We're just sitting here because I'm doing it. I'm just unlocked. It's not called aliens. It's just called aliens plural because one is alien singular because there's one alien in alien, but there's several aliens in aliens. Alien one, great. Aliens amaze balls. Alien three plus meh. Mm. That seems right. Can't use a lot of Bath and Body Works stuff because it has essential oils. I don't like Bath and Body Works stuff. I think it's not that good. I actually use my skin more moist. And they make a show mm. on Dateline NBC. Dish soap is very stringent. I don't love Bath and Body Works stuff. I think if you're looking for things that leave your skin feeling clean but without film, which a lot of dudes seem to be looking for in my experience, products like... Um, uh, no, like like just good bar monster. soap does just wonders. Just and the emulsified soaps, the bar soaps actually are great for your skin because they do a good job of removing dirt without removing a lot of your own natural oils and sebums and they don't leave a lot of residue. Poggers. Predator 1 is Arnold in the jungle. Predator 2 is Denny Glover? Is that right? I'm going to be honest, I thought it went aliens, alien, alien, aliens, AVP. I'm not sure after that. It's alien, aliens, alien 3... Those all came out a while ago. And then AVP happens way later. It happens in the Freddy vs. Jason era. 
make a movie about young predators called Child Predator. Stop. Danny Glover's main character in Predator 2, he wins and kills a predator. The only trophy. trick to survive a lone I like the movie predator is to remove your cool. skin. Foolproof. Mel- Melon is like a target. That's not true because in the original zombie movie, Land of the Living Dead, there are a bunch of people and the black guy makes it all the way to the end. He's the only one who survives. And it's because he's what? paying the fuck attention okay the white people do dumb shit sorry it's what happens in the movie and the black guy survives but then at the Here's end a, a bunch of a horror movie don't be in a horror movie yeah that's also true um at the end of land of the living dead he's in the house that he spends like a bunch of the movie in and it's not the zombies that come for him it's other like people but it's like white guys with cowboy hats and guns and then it cuts to black Good movie. Short, but good. Black and white, though. The actual timeline would be old Predator movies, AVP movies, new Predator movies, Prometheus. That's a prequel. And then the four alien movies. Oh, and like chronological order. Yeah, because the, the Predators... The surviving in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, unless you are Zapelli. <laughs> Zapelli, he doesn't always make it either. Caesar! Um... Yeah, because the predators like make the aliens or they like cultivate the al- like the the pr- forerunners. They're not called forerunners, but you know the the, the big t- the big guys from Prometheus. They make the alien because they're trying to make the perfect creature. But then the predators are like, "This thing's sick. I love to fight it because I'm that bitch." They and so then they the start cooking them in them. like pyramids, and then they hunt them like for fun, right? I just call them forerunners because I don't know what they're called. Like those big guys with the goop from Prometheus. The ta- the tall guys. They're like the forerunners. They're like from before. They ran before. Forerunners. Well, now. Nothing makes me matter than Jason in space. Black dude survives all the way to the end so they can do a useless sacrifice rip. I hate to see it. Oh, the engineers. Yeah, okay. What are they engineering? Goop These brothers nuts, here called Goop Brothers. Lamau. Goop bros, they're called goop bros facts. The architects, I think they're the engineers. I think that Bucky's right that they're the engineers, but architects also seems legit. Yeah, because they're like, they're like, there's like all this lore. And then like the, what's going on in Prometheus, like Wayland Yutani is like trying to fig, like get their technology. The master yeah. debaters. And they're like weirdly like worshiping them somehow. And there's like a bunch of like occult sim- symbolism and stuff in Prometheus. There's like a bunch of like like stuff on the you know just like uh, like it's all woven in. But like when I look at it and I try to figure out what it's trying. Oh, I just smacked the mic. Literally, I apologize. Um, when I look at it, I try to figure out what they're trying to tell me. I don't fucking get it. Still, like I mean, I get it sort of. But I think it's kind of dumb. Is that, a, is that rude? I feel like Prometheus was kind of stupid. I took my stepmom because she loves scary movies and she loves Alien. Did you know that my stepmom loves scary movies and that Alien is her favorite movie? That's based as fuck. She's pretty base. She loved, actually, she said that when she was growing up, that her favorite TV show yeah, was I'd Twin Peaks. someone say the door to darkness. Because she loves to be scared and she loves ghosts and shit. So we went to see Prometheus together, and I remember after, I was like, well, it was cool to look at. And she was like, yeah, this was kind of bad, but I didn't hate it. And that's kind of how I feel. I feel like watching Prometheus in the theaters was not a bad time. Like, I didn't feel like I wasted my money, but it didn't really make sense. I feel like it didn't add anything. She watched Big Ass Spider. Uh, What is it? Eight Leg Freaks. Prometheus is like aliens. Is Anne Rice vampire books after she found God? <laughs> uh oh <laughs> that's kind of extremely real and it kind of hurts me <laughs> to think about that man Anne Rice what a person just such so many influences on our modern society <laughs> and just to just to think you make the two vampires kiss, she can't handle it, babes. She needs you to stop. They're not supposed to kiss. 
They're platonic vampire bros. His shirt is like that because it's historically accurate. <laughs> Stop looking at Twink Tom Cruise like that. <laughs> Stop it. Their subtle southern accents are not sexy. <laughs> oh, Anne Rice is like, she wrote a bunch of vampire uh, novels. Very good vampire novels, actually. And they got turned into movies. Very good vampire movies. But the gay is so thick. It's like eight feet deep of gay. It's like almost as gay as like, what's got more gay subtext than... In a wreath of vampire. I can't think of anything that has more gay subtext than that. It's somehow gayer than Sherlock and Watson living in a house together full time, sharing a kitchen. Do you see what I mean? Like sleeping in two twin beds in the same room. It's almost as gay as that. You don't think the movies were good? I think the movies were kind of good. I think it's good. Is it good on like an Bucky's objective right. Casablanca scale? Water. But is that really what we're stay. doing? Is that what we're doing with our lives? Are we rating things on the like Citizen sca Kane scale? Surely not. Papa Doogie, maybe there's something, maybe there's an appeal there that I appreciate that you're not. <laughs> Why my chat's pet suddenly? I don't know. I was explaining it. Parasy the Zelians. Whatever they officially call the aliens, they're called uh, xenomorphs because uh, they morph. The ultimate prey because they can't get stronger with the host trail. Yeah, so they like to plant them on planets and shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, stat is meant to be 6'5 French aristocrat. I'm sorry, but it's not Tom Cruise. You're right. You're right. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with the truth. Tom Cruise is not 6'5, he's not French, and he's not serving aristocrat. He is serving soaking wet twink. And I'm not angry. I'm not angry. He looks like a 21 year old who just figured out that he could like wear outfits. Do you know what I mean? Like, he went to one medieval society meeting. That's what he looks like. The books are just gay. The books are gay. There, It is gay. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to feast off the life force of your best friend and soul confidant? So he went to make him my life again. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong channel to avoid that. Shall we begin? Here, let's turn off the tunes and let's bring in uh, alien noises. Let's actually do what we're here to do. Folks, today we're going to play Alien. Oh my God, it's been 40 minutes. Thank you for coming to my stun lock where I talk about nothing. We have very gay time. I haven't read all of them. I think Buddy's read more than I have. Buddy used to be a big vampire fan. Isn't that right, Buddy? Vampire. and Rice vampires. But Mom had all the books, so... Mm -hmm. How gay are they, do you think, out of 10? They're pretty gay. Vampires are just gay. I'm sorry. It's inherently gay to be a vampire. Even what we do in the shadows acknowledges that it's very gay to be a vampire. And there are straight vampires in that show. We are definitely isolated. We're on this little spaceship. Bucky is now uh, ready to what happened last time? Okay, hold on. Let me, turn, take, let me take away this scary alien music for a minute. Did you know there was a comic where this alien race that would hunt aliens and eat the eggs? Yeah, I feel like the xenomorph eggs do not look eatable at all. Like, I've seen some pretty uneatable looking eggs, but I feel like the xenomorph eggs is like meaty. Like, I feel like the xenomorph, they open, right? They have, they're like muscly. Maybe that makes them more eatable. Because Why I'm am I buddy too? I can't help you. Uh, you finally start. I have to go for movie night. Have a good time. Don't get scared. I won't. Thank you for visiting, Barry. I appreciate you. Um, okay. Last time what happened was we met some guy and he was very rude. Um, 
he was like telling us what to do and he was really mean and I didn't really like him, but I was like just starting to think maybe we could like make it happen. Like we could be friends or like something. And then he walks into a pile of acid goop and starts mumbling about how he's gonna die. And I was like, you need to move out of the obviously evil slime pile. And then he got eaten by the alien. The we saw her, are she came down and she was like, organisms. But in one comic on a planet, on. they got absolutely wrecked by some fungus. Mushroom is the pinnacle of life. Mushrooms, it's true. Then the alien you can't cream eat eggs just ass. after they make great omelets. I don't think they would like crack though. They don't have like a shell, the alien eggs. They're like a meaty meat creature, right? They're like, but like when you shine a light, they look like shark eggs. Like they're like leathery. And then there's like a little face hugger in there. I don't know. Came and ate that ass true. And then he hugged a spider. No, she like came down, she ate him. She ate him. She like stabbed him with her tail. And then he, she like, she took him into the vent. And then my character, who's also Ripley, but I don't remember her first name because I'm like Sigourney's daughter and I'm on the spaceship looking for the black box to like find out what happened to her or something, trying to figure out what's going on with okay, the Nostromo. Okay, we should be fine as long as Xenomorph do not evolve into spider. I feel like a spider Xenomorph would be pog. Ripley Jr., correct. Um, yeah, so I'm like out here. I saw the alien. I'm, I'm, my Ripley's very worried. She's like, oh my god, the alien's gonna come get me. But I don't think she really cares. The alien, no, everything slowly evolving towards crabs. Correct. Once a face hanger puts the embryo in you, a psychic connection is formed to you in the hive, and then you can like f feel your baby that you're growing. Sorry, I meant to say evolve into crab. <laughs> you just like feel his like vibe. <laughs> The little dolphin creature inside your body. Where does he go? Is he in your tummy? Because he bursts out of your sternum. But like, where is he at before that? Like, is he in your tummy? Is he growing in your your bed, your your stomach? He's like a tapeworm. Questions that don't really need answers. Xenomorph but yeah. crab. Xenomorph crab. Correct. Large, like dungeness spider crab, alien. They, like, put him in surgery, but they don't get him out of there. They're attached to your esophagus wall. Oh. You feel like you can feel it in there. Oh, so he's, like, in your esophagus, but, like, past your little throat dip then, I guess. Because your esophagus goes, like, further down. Mocha Taiga, thank you very much for the follow. You pulled the Emperor. The Emperor reminds you the structure can be good, but it can also be stressful. So make sure to take a break. Thank you again for the follow. Egg sends out tendrils that plug into your aorta. Ooh. In your neck. But then when you see him like growing in your neck, anyway, this is not the point. The point is I saw the alien and that's where we're at. So I'm pretty sure we literally climbed into a vent after Sean or whatever died, ripped Sean. Um, and that's what's ha that's what happened. So Let's get into it. I don't remember if I was supposed to use a controller. Should I be using a controller? For what? Alien video game? Should I use a controller? I think the lame thing oh, was, and I don't know if they are okay. this, but even if the xenomorph is removed, it gave you super cancer. Mm, I really rips. hope they that reekin sense. that. But the xenomorph removes, it gives you super cancer. I think if you try to get him out of there, he like explodes into ass and then you die. Or something. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Shall we begin? Let's go. Let's do it. Continue. The alien is not the only threat aboard a station. Yeah, it's just stupid guys. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I think I'm trying to figure something out. Oh, I forgot how violent hiding is, bro. She's so aggressive. Hide. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but like, bro. Okay, we need to get an elevator, I guess. I don't really know what's going on. No. Oh. Eh? 
Use rewire toggle systems on and off. Ugh, this seems really annoying. Systems are a limited power supply. Switching systems off will provide power to switch others on. Study the map on the right hand screen with the mouse to click the position of the local system. Uh -huh. Access new areas, create diversions, or experiment. Take your trash with you. Okay. Actually, I gotta say, I said this last time, but the aesthetics in this game, peak. Very good, in my opinion. You can live if they remove the ZMR before it bursts out. That's how they get aliens in Alien Resurrection. They cloned Ripley. Then they sewed her back up. Beaker. If you find our transit service deficient, please fill out one of the forms provided. Oh, there's not a button. Uh. Now the cool lore. After the aliens invade Earth and in our guild, they find out they can make culture steroids from the royal jelly. What am I doing? Why am I here? Why is his neck like that? Xeno Royal Jelly? Wouldn't it be ouchy? I feel like Xeno Royal Jelly would be like tangy, a derogatory. Let's go up here. I don't know how like concerned I should be, like how cautious I should be. Bag theft, bro. Okay. A light. Oh. Ah? Huh? What did I do? Oh, Zeno I remember there is a map. Is like how do I get to the map? Jelly. M button. N button. Queen. I button. E button. Q button. Hold Q button. This is great. Um, I mean, it's literally doing nothing for me. Uh, but that's fine. Escape button. That's not the right button. Map. Tab. Oh! <laughs> it's like normal bee jelly. What? But how they make it. They don't have like a hive. Tab. Smart. Big brain. We're here. This is I mean, meaningless. Transit to Sevastopol Spaceflight Terminal. Is that where I'm trying to go? Find an elevator to Siegson Communications. It's behind me. Can you see? This is my, my objective. Okay, Pog. Sure, that's fine. But like... Where's Sigs in communications? Axel said, oh, Axel, he's dead though, rip. But he's the man that we were talking to. The SysTech Spire houses Sigs in communications, find a way to get there, surely. Solomon's Habitation Tower engineering platform. I think that's where we came from. Oh, oh. Okay, we can move around. This says tower, but I don't think that helps. Mm hey. <laughs> There's a door. Security. Can't go in there. Is this a window? Oh, what's that box? Oh, I want that. That's code required. Mm -hmm. Queens make royal jelly. Do they just like make it? They just make it. They just have it. Okay, let's go downstairs again. We found, we were looking for stuff, weren't we? Like what is in this thing? Oh, this is the this is the 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 subway, and we just got off the subway. I think. Can I go in there. What's in here? Do 
There's a box. I want to go inside. Wait, what did it say? It says access tower required. What? Okay. This is not treasure. This is to hide. Okay. We need to remember that. I don't think anything is going to attack me here, but if it does, rip. Rip me. Did you get, didn't you get lost the last time I played? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God, there's a dead guy. He's fucking dead. What do you got? Mm, thank you. How did he die? Am I not concerned? Does he look like he got shot to you? I think he looks like he got shot. So that's like a human person. Extremely sorry for the current disruption in services. Okay. I forgot all the doors require like seven buttons to maximize stress, bros. It's dusty as fuck down here. Was this even freaking necessary, bro? I can already go down here. Whatever. Hello, Faye Wims, how are you? <laughs> how is, is Faye Farm? Did years. you win at it? Did you win Faye Farm? Bro, this was useless, but I guess I found that dead guy, so it's a W. Here comes Wim Wham and the Bam Bam. Excellent, it's nice to see you guys. Hey, thank you very much, Dinkus Donkus McWilly Monkus. You pulled the strength card. Strength reminds you that like the majestical Xenomorph Queen, you are very strong. Thank you again for the follow. <laughs> Got the bottom of the mine, so I definitely consider that a win. Amazing, I'm so proud to hear it. That's excellent news. Uh, we're playing Alien, you guys. I'm lost. Just letting you know. I have no idea where I am, and I really do not know what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I'm supposed to use... Like, I want to go in here. Because there's a box. And it sounds tasty, crunchy, full of delicious... What's this? I don't have a plasma torch. Okay, great. Did I not already... Don't I have a plasma torch? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we're dealing with. How's this game? Oh, you know, there's... <laughs> many eligible bachelorettes so the, if that's the kind of thing you like then i have great news <laughs> i'm so funny <laughs> thank you again for the raid family if you need to do some self-care please don't hesitate but of course you're very welcome to watch me run around in circles should we try to figure out this thingy like, i don't really know what i'm supposed to do with it like it says, it says speaker system, but why do I, why do I do, and look at all these buttons. Am I, I don't think I can even press all these buttons. But like if you're looking at these buttons, how would you, oh, maybe it's broken. Oh my God, that makes sense. Harmony Shine, thank you for your the follow. You pulled the chariot. The chariot reminds you that sometimes you're presented with like 700 buttons and they don't make sense because they're broken. They're probably broken. Right? And they're supposed to say something useful, but they don't. Okay, we need to use. Unstable system is active. I forget what button I'm supposed to press. E. Power available Pick zero. Passengers. Take your trash with you. Now speaker system is active. Speaker system's over there. So do I like go over there? Do I try to talk to somebody? You guys, wait, it's here. So it's like, I gotta go up the stairs. Okay, let's see if we can talk to somebody or whatever. One bachelor in particular loves to shove her tongue way down your throat. Meta, you're making it sound lewd. Let me in, please, speaker system. Hello? Oh no. Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Bro, it says speaker system active and then it points to right here, dude. Oh, this is the speaker. 
that load of good that does me. I'm turning it off. I'm just gonna turn them all off. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do? The boy chat is unsupervised time to drink the green tab energy that the aliens produce. I'm instantly intrigued. I'm also intrigued, but in that way that makes me kind of stressed out. Oh, I turned it off. I don't think this did anything, you guys. I genuinely do not think that this has done anything. Hello? Oh no. Okay, uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's turn it off. We'll turn everything off. If you find our transit service deficient, one of the and she's still talking. What does that mean, dog? What does this exclamation point mean? I give up. I don't like this thing. It's stupid. It doesn't matter. I don't think I can go in the subway. Oh, I could call it, but I don't think it matters because. Can you guys read this? <clears throat> it says can you read it to me <laughs> power link transit transit system no destinations uh number and then destination and then status and Sultan solomon's habitation canceled uh everything sc men tower canceled lorenz cytec cystec canceled seeks and synthetics canceled apollo canceled engineering platform canceled and at the bottom says sys error code zero hms yeah what a great error code error error code zero Perfect. thank you everything is the problem everything is the problem <laughs> okay wait so we're trying to go to seeks and communications we are trying to go the cystic spire but that's not on the list okay wait is there another one? Ugh. Oh, i don't want to hold that Please put that down. No, 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 no. Let go. Oh my God. How do I make her put it down? Don't, don't activate it. What's the opposite of activating it? Oh no. Let go of flare. Don't med kit either. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna hold it. It's gonna be fine. This is the same thing. And I'm still pretty sure we came from there. But there's nothing else, dudes. Oh, this is the other side. That's the same shit. Okay. I'm really stressed. I'm holding this flare. I don't want to be doing that. I want to put it down, but I don't know how to do it. So the subway can't take us anywhere. There's doors we can go in, but we don't have access. Or whatever. Oh, did I get something from this guy? How do I check my inventory? Q? E? No. How do I check my... Controls. Let me look at the controls. Game. Control scheme. Roy. <laughs> Fire, pause game, toggle flashlight. None of these things show me my inventory. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Security access tuner? But I don't have that, and this dead guy didn't have it. That's not a door. This I cannot access because I don't have equipment, and I don't have a plasma torch, so I can't do the other thing. 
We're running, ladies. I don't really know what happens to me if I run too much, but we're just doing it. If something's gonna eat me, she better get to it. And then over here, okay, we updated the map. That was good. Okay, now we're in here. This is a different area. What is this thingy? Okay, we go through here. Oh, there's a ussy. Okay, very good. This door is locked. Fantastic. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know what we were supposed to be doing, but I'm going in the ussy. Oh, there's a second one. Ouch. Shoot at me! I don't know you, girl! Bitch! Over here! Someone's here! Eww, bro! Don't yell at me! Oh my god! What a bitch! <laughs> she shot at me! I was crouching! Did I hear a C? Yeah. We're gonna go in there. Don't worry. I don't think she's gonna follow me here. I really do not. <sighs> not to be dramatic, but we are trapped on a space station. There's zero human camaraderie. You're just gonna shoot at me? What do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna take all your spam rations, ma'am? Like, I don't wanna be that person and get Hashtag philosophical, it's philosophizing on this bitch, but like, T, I think it, we have a little more wherewithal, gumption, than just to go full kill everybody I see. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we would at least try to do make a society. Ooh, I can't, I have a flashlight. Oh, what's that? I don't know what that is, but we have it now. F button, nice. We have to be careful because we'll run out of bat trees. Okay, I think that's literally it. Great. Hello. This didn't take me anywhere. <laughs> Okay, wait, so there are two doors I can go in? Okay, this literally took me in an L-shaped zone. Wait, one of these doors is the door I came through. And that is the door that faces this thing because I saw it when I came through here. This is the door that I came through. Yes, that's the door with the mean lady who's gonna shoot at me. Got it. We're making progress. Would love to go in here and touch whatever that is, but I can't, so it doesn't matter. Hate that I'm still holding this flare. This takes me, the OC takes me nowhere. Buddy played this game and I think he beat it. Um, but you'll notice that he's suspiciously absent in my time of need, bro. I don't know, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I went into the aperture, but there's nothing in here. Oh, is that a ladder though? Okay, I take it back. No, there isn't anything in here. It just takes me in an L shape, bro. It's wasting my freaking batteries for nothing. Aww. The OC take me nowhere. I guess we gotta go in here, but how do I go in here without getting shot at? Shoot at me. 
I'm just a little guy and it's my birthday. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> oh, I've collected an ID tag. I can't play that right now. There's like a guy. Did she leave? She was like, oh shit, there's somebody here. And then she dipped. Ooh, a box. Give me delicious treasures. Ammo. The idea that I'm going to successfully shoot gun at anything in this video game is laughable. Marie, listen to me very carefully. I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe till Seekson send a ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap, weird smell. He had something in his coat. Smell. I think it was a gun. Gun? Just look right through him. <gasps> Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. <laughs> yeah. Bro, your neighbor has a gun, and that's what you're concerned about? Like, I think maybe this, like, indentured servitude that you entered your family into is, like, already a red flag, but whatever. Staff access only, and then also staff access only in Japanese this time. Right, right, right. To be honest, I kind of like this, like, sort of, you know, like in how in Firefly, a bunch of the swear words are in Chinese or whatever. Because Whalen Yutani is a Japanese company, right? Like, yeah, but I just like the idea that culturally we're going to, like, merge. The East West divide will be, like, broken down and we'll just become, like, this will become the, the way it is, like, normally. But do you know what I think the best part about that is? It's definitely accurate because I love to eat food. Asian food's very tasty. Is that rude? Bucky's access to. Why did you do? Why would you? Why would you do this with my camera? Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Okay. Just need to find a new data cell. Just need a soldering iron, a data cell, and a little bit of moxie. Spit on it. Spit on it. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh my God! You can't do that to a bitch. They took my whole life away from me. I wasn't scared. I was just appalled at the audacity. Ah! Don't, you take that Don't touch me. Okay. We find her. Kill her. They want to kill me. What do I do? What do I do? I have to leave. This way. She was downstairs. Okay, that's great. You go down there. See anything yet? do when there's guys like what are my options what well, there's a guy he's a man he wants to shoot me and kill me and is I, it a person man or is a it a human robot man? man um don't get shot he's right here in front of you yeah you're in the wrong place stay awake jackass We're does he see you right now you, alive. you gotta sneak sneak to where i don't know is there like a computer terminal you can interface with? Because a lot of times there are ways that you can like disarm or kill the guards using the computer system. Look at your map, figure out what the next destination is and figure out the best path. Right. I have to fix the thingy that I have so I can go through this door. It's like you just need to go around this corner to find something in here. 
Oh, you think this circle means I gotta go there? I'm, I assume so. I don't know what this circle means. It's just a circle. But it looks like this is a door. Place where you are. He's a weak dude. We'll make it through this, I promise. He's talking to his girlfriend! Uh, don't you have like a chainsaw or a plasma gun or something? I don't have anything. All I have is flare and med kit. This is horrible, huh? I can't go through. There's nothing there. Wait. Hey, over there! <laughs> Bitch! There's a door there you should go through. There was a bench. He shot me, I died. It's so little scream when you get shot. Oh my god. How do I check my inventory? to tell me <laughs> okay well now i know what i need to do i need to okay we need to go up there we need to get the little thingy the jimmy thanks thanks <laughs> we need to get the jimmy and it's broken and then when we get the jimmy the two human people are going to show up and they're going to start walking around so we need to go past them to go somewhere else And that's fine, but like weird. <coughs> like weird. This is the wrong way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, okay, we're from our last save, so we haven't updated the map yet. And we also haven't found the dead guy. So let's. Uh, here's the dead guy. Let's remove the thingy. No. Okay. Clonk, clonk. Might as well. You're welcome. You're welcome for what? You're welcome for what? I don't have enough walnuts for this, okay? This doesn't matter. Nobody cares about this thing. Okay. And then up here, there's a thingy for the map. So we update the map. I'm the map, I'm the map. Okay. Oh! Okay, so we have like a personnel log? I don't really know what this is about. But that's fine. Okay. So good. That's fine. Okay, this requires a plasma torch, which I think I have. Okay, there's nobody in here. This is fine. There's nothing over here. I don't think there's any loot. Did we get loot? I feel like there was loot in here. For this, for the fart. Wasn't there a bit of loot in here that we got? No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very good. Okay, we got the loot. I don't know how to check my inventory and I hate that. I'm Googling it. I should be able to do that, right? Alien isolation. Check inventory. <clears throat> Pull 
Gold Q. And it shows icons in the circle. Well, that's dumb because it just shows me these two things, but I know I have a bunch of stuff. Like, can I not craft and things like that? I thought that I would, could like craft. Hold B. Okay. We can hear the people, but I'm just gonna go in this SU for. Oh, press left map button to build. So I can build medkits. Oh, I can build a bunch of stuff? Oh, these are the things I need to build a medkit. I've made a med kit. Okay, so that's, I can craft things with left mouse button. So wait, does that show me how many things of, I have like bonding agent and compound and injectors and shit. Okay, but I need like some story item in order to acquire like data kit or whatever the fuck for the Jimmy. Okay, so we'll go in here. I froze. That's fine. We fixed that. Yeah. Hold on, everybody. Rest in peace. Okay. I'm back. She is back. Unrest in peace. Rest on peace with you. Can you go? Why are you slow? Are you crouching? Over here. Someone's here. Why was I slow? Maybe I got shot. I don't know. Okay, she's like not gonna come through this door, I think. But I think they're gonna leave the area or something. Okay. Yeah, for craftable items, but there's gonna be story items. That's what I need. I need like data pack. Okay, so my plan is I'm gonna go get the Jimmy and then I'm gonna run up the stairs and hide up there. That seems to make sense to me. Okay. But I think they're gone. Okay. Crouch. Okay. Let's just double check that there's no items or anything that I missed last time. Like, what's staff access only do for me? Can I not go through this door? I have a tag, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Item maxed. I don't care. Just let me carry infinite things. Isn't that nicer for both of us? Okay. 
My instinct is to stick my tongue out because I'm concentrating. Items? Please give items. Tube of Kelper. Balls? Nothing. Items, items, items. Is this a separate area? No, it's not a separate area. Magazine. Hi, Bagant! I was too scared to play this. It's fine. It's not scary at all. It's not scary at all. And also, I never scare, so it's fine. Is this the same one that we interfaced with before? Yes. Okay. Where is the Ussy? Up these stairs. Past her from the other side, I think. Up these stairs right here. Okay, ready? An access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Circuits are fried. Yeah. Easy fix. Yes. Just need to find a new data set. Problem solved. Now I'm in here. Okay. Okay. Doesn't show me this like story item, but we're good. Send me down. I fell down. I can climb back up. Storage? Storage unit? Ooh! Crumbs? Crumblies! Okay, it's fine. No! If I can't have it, just exit me out of there, bro. Ugh! Item maxed. Unbelievable. Well, this is good because I've I'm here, but this is bad because this hasn't taken me anywhere. And probably I should like gone through it before I made it my one thing that I was going to do. <laughs> okay, where do I want to go? Hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't know what my plan would be. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what location I'm trying to get to. Because it says find a data cell. But I feel like I've already explored all those areas. Keys Halls Cheer Dex 1. Hello, Thank mother. you. Could I offer you a crystal in these trying times? Thank you for this crystal. I feel I'm filled with determination. I'm filled with determination. Mm -hmm. There is a door, but it says staff only and it doesn't do anything on the main lobby zone. Right. And then the area I came from where this like save point is, there's nothing new. Like there's, there's doors that I could hack into. <laughs> That's about it. Hmm. I wonder, like, is it possible that in one of the areas I've already been, there's a data cell that didn't appear until after I picked up this Jimmy? I don't think so, right? So I guess my option... It does seem like they want me to go... to this circle. But I don't think I can go in, like, I. Where, why don't I have a plasma torch? Did I not have a plasma torch? 
Kid me an upper level of the lobby area found where the people currently are. Some access port in the area. Maybe. I mean, there's nothing we can... Like, sitting around and wondering about it's not doing us any good. So I guess we'll go in and just, like, shoot our shot. Okay, they're down stairs in the lobby. So theoretically... They're not downstairs in the lobby. Maybe they go downstairs in the lobby. Okay, I assume they have like a loop. Also, I feel like your girl would have seen me. <laughs> like, obviously my idea, my task is to stealth around them, but like, I could throw a flare. I feel very directionless. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry if this is like unpleasant to watch. I feel like it's a puzzle and I don't have all the information. Like maybe there was something I, I don't remember from last time. I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Um. So, okay. So, okay. See this thing here? Yeah. This is a door, but it doesn't do anything when I approach it. This is a door, but I need to use the Jimmy that I just found to open it. I need like the hacker thing, but I need this data cell to repair that. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the area I was already in. And I didn't find any items in this tube ends here. There is a door in this area, but it doesn't open any like a plasma torch or something, which I, I thought I had, but I don't. And then these are a uh, subway. If you can't do anything here, let me just. Oh, wasn't there a door? Wait, how did you do that? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so I went, I went through this loop already. Do you know what this is? Because this looks like it's trying to get you here. This looks even closer than the other floor does. Yeah, you're not wrong. Also, these aren't safe spaces. Just so you're aware. The tube? These tubes are not safe spaces to just hang out. No, I'm not really betting on that, but... That becomes a lot more relevant later on. Or is there something in here with us? Girl, shut up. I believe in you. If it was the speaker, one of us would be gone by oh, now. No, 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 no. Leave me. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. I'm obviously not bothering you. I don't want your spam or what else you're fucking collecting. Leave me be. Locked. Y'all are just rude, honestly. Like, for real. Ugh. See, I don't know where I, I don't know where to go to, like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, it's possible that it wants you to do another area on the subway. Is it, do you find the elevator seats in the So, okay, hold up. See, like, there's here, which seems like it would be useful, but this I need security access tuner. Which is that thing That's that the jimmy. I thought there was a door here that said I need, like, a key card. And I do find a key card. So, but I think I can get that before the guys show up. You have a thing for this? Yeah, I do. I think... Oh, this is how you're getting it. I see. Well, this, I, this is just a... a yeah redundant door to be honest but i'm just opening it because why not hi lily shadow you're not late you're doing perfect well got off work like 30 minutes ago i hope work was okay this is the redundant door in what way like these two doors go to the same place oh. like i went up this door you know what i mean but i've been opening it because it seems like a good idea i think i came here on the subway like i think i arrived in this place because i came on the subway so i think the subway is redundant because i think i just got off of it Okay, here's the map. No problem. 
Is there not a door here that needs a key card? Because that would be... See, so it has this, which I don't have plasma torch, but this... Passcode. Passcode. And I don't have passcode. Is there, like, a computer terminal in this general vicinity? Mm, there's just the thingy that lets me turn the speaker on, which I assume is supposed to be, like, a stealth distraction. That might be helpful. I mean, I assume later this area might, like, this thingy, but I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this. Like, I can change the power. That's fine. But, like, to where? Unstable system. Speaker system. That's not super useful here. No, not right now. Baldur's Gate 3 download is going to have to pause. I want to watch uninterrupted. Bless. That's very kind of you. I'm glad you find it entertaining enough. You can <laughs> limit the speed in both the Steam and GOG launchers to a, a lower value so you can do both at the same time. That's also true. Okay. So I think that's all the items. These lockers that you can hide in look like like treasure. They always catch me. I'm like, I want to go in there and see what treasure is in there. But there's no treasure in there. I don't trust my Wi-Fi enough. That's valid. That's valid. So how do you, so where's this upper level that we saw before? I assume that's where you were trying to get. That's that. where I think I was. Like, okay. Hold on. Let me see. Door is just locked. Uh, that doesn't, I assume that that means dubious you have nothing. Theoretically, you could maybe use a computer computer panel or something to open it up, I guess. This doesn't go anywhere. It goes around to the other side. Yeah, and it doesn't have like it a- Looks like there's maybe a ladder in it somewhere. And then this is where bad guys are. Okay, she's gonna look at me and be like, get the fuck out of here. Stay back. Shit. I don't know why I become slow suddenly. Someone's here. I'm just gonna go in here. I don't think it matters, but. We'll wait till tense music stops, and then that should, they should evacuate the zone. So yeah, you need to go through that door, apparently. Yeah, see? And you need to go up I'll show one you. level. So they should be like gone. Let me grab, there's a bunch of stuff around here. So let me grab it. Oh, there is scrap inside the vents, but you know what? Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Here. Hold on. Yeah. See, there's this. ID tag is probably important. But I don't really know, like, do ID tags open doors? There's this door goes nowhere. Okay, so that's not the door that I thought it was. There's also this door. What does it say? Plasma torch required. Is it like, is there like some refill item that you need for the plasma torch? And I'm, I'm not sure. And then I assume this is the second level. Yeah, see? Okay, so. Not this one. This requires restore power. Sure, maybe I can make that happen in a sec. And then this is the other door over here? I, th I seem to recall having a struggle with this specific area as well. And it's, I, I think I, I, I remember, like, eventually finding something. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I think, um... I think it's, like, locked down some of the zone because the oxygen system isn't working. Can you turn... Turn it back on there, I think, maybe? Okay, yeah. Here, let's try this one too. Okay, this one should do the same thing, I think. I think, I think it's the same thing, they just have it in a few spots. So, okay. Also, thank you for your help, buddy. I appreciate you. Yeah. So, if you turn that one off. So, the dust is like gone, but. Ugh. Oh, is it? getting like misty or something oh i see so maybe i'm harder to see now 
That's great. No, I think some of the doors should open. I don't think if they I will. Remember correctly. See, so if this is the door I'm meant to go to, that's all well and good, but I gotta figure out how to open it before I pick up the Jimmy. Like, okay, theoretically, I could stealth around this whole area and we, it would be fine, but it's just annoying. <laughs> well, just take an opportunity to just, like, not care that they're attacking you and just figure it out. Are these doors working? These don't do anything. So maybe there's something here that will restore the power that I'm not finding. That must be part of it, right? Because a bunch of the doors say restore power on them. All these old computer systems and stuff. Yeah, the atmosphere's peak. We agree. Atmosphere in Alien Isolation. The vibes, excellent. Immaculate. Kitchen. Security access to required, surely. A copy of this man, this god. Always subtle. Okay, that's fine. Do you guys want to lovingly machine roll? Look at him, he's having a freaking gay old time. Take your meds, smoke your cigarettes, eat your spam, and shut the fuck up. There's probably gonna be like a little... Like, what is this Ooh, thingy? This looks like something that you should be able to grab. Oh, man. No dice. All right, we know we can go down here and then it goes literally nowhere. So we might as well go grab whatever loot is down there right now. She's in the vents. That's me. She is me. Talking about me. I'm in the vents. Yeah. Is there anything? Wait. Ugh. That's not what I want. I hate holding this thing. No! Ugh. Get flared. What a fucking waste. What a waste of my time. So that time, yes, baby. Don't no, don't grab another one. How do I get this out of my hand? So I don't accidentally use it. Probably. You probably also don't want to accidentally use your med kit. I mean, yeah, but how do I get it out of my hand? I don't think I don't think I can. That's annoying. I would expect there to be like a an item to allow you out of this room in this room that they wouldn't drop you in here oh well i can get back out well yeah but this is what i did i saw the vent and i climbed in it because i assumed the vent was like going to be it something very much seems like this would be a pathway to putting you in a room with an uh, an item that will now unlock that room you would assume i hate that i have this flare in my hand do you want the answer to this room? Um, I appreciate you looking it up first of, first of all. Give me another minute. Let me scoot around. I assume that there's a, a terminal that's gonna restore power in some way to open some of these doors. That's what I think is going on. I think I'm supposed to restore the power. It's first level. You think so? I mean, we've been you've been all around the top level, so. I mean, I have, but also like I'm just kind of challenged directionally. You're doing great. Unless you have the answer to how to put down this flare, then that's a W. You would assume like over he he in this little circle, right? Maybe like, like video this? game logic in more of like a plinth area. Like I would assume. Like video game logic, video game brain, game dev brain, something with a spotlight on it, something that's higher up than other um, things. Imagine it being like uh, an intentionally placed engineering room or something where you'd get something like this, so sort of off to the side. Blinky lights. A cupboard sort of thing. Unless power gets restored. Like what's this little zone? This is I already here. just went here. I can't go through here. All right, I give up. Meta, what's the answer? Tell me. I love the Alien franchise, but I'm too much of a scaredy cat to actually play this game. She's nice. She just wants a snack and some cuddles. I would be best friends. Me and that girl. Me and that bitch. Like, there's... What triggered those dudes coming in? When I grab the Jimmy, the dudes come in. The Jimmy on the floor down there? The, the floor Jimmy. Yes, ma'am. I assume it's possible that when they come in, something gets activated other than them just arriving. But that seems like kind of rude. Maybe they turn on the power. 
The door you have to go oh, through have to unlocks when you grab the MacGuffin. You she calls him over. Through it after they come through it. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. So the door is okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Meta. I appreciate you. Okay, so the door I need is this one. No, this one. Qua? The glowing green one. No, that's where the Jimmy is. But when I grab the Jimmy, then it's gonna move because then I need to get the data pack, and that's oh. gonna be over here. Oh. So it is oh. when they come through the door that that's when it's gonna become active. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. Oh, you have dropping player instructions. Hold Q. Bring up the item wheel. Put the cursor over the item that isn't the one you want you have equipped. That puts it away, but then I hold the other item. With the RMB? Yeah, with the right mouse button. Like I can right click to pick a different item, but it doesn't put down, do you know what I mean? Like I don't put down what's in my hand. Like I don't go open hand. I just have something else in my hand. Mm. So, I mean, that's vibey. Maybe I'm missing something? Maybe just the item that you do have equipped? Nope. Cause it just selects it. It's whatever. It doesn't matter. Maybe I'm always supposed to have something in my hand. Maybe it's better that way later. I don't know. Reddit, you have failed me. To be fair, it does put the flare down. You'll see you put the item down right away. Put the cursor or the item that isn't the one you have equipped. Yeah, right click it once you do it. She does put it, I mean, that works, but now I'm holding the mic. It's fine, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the Jimmy. They're gonna come through this door here. That's what's gonna activate it. This door is gonna become unlocked. So they're gonna travel up to here to where I'm at. So I was able to pretty uneventfully go up through here to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Jimmy, then I'm gonna run up these stairs. I'm gonna go down to this cafeteria area and crouch. And then I'm gonna try to come up here and around. And if I scoot my ass fast enough, it should work. I believe in you. All right, she's gonna take over my camera, rude. An access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator hack security. security. So it's a data pack. Just okay. need to find a new data set. Let's go this way. Up here. Down here. We'll crouch. Okay. You find her, tell her. Rude. They are rude. This way. Wrong way. Around the back. Through here. Something's moving around. Yeah. Pay attention. Don't do that. That's rude. Bye. Goodbye. Hog. Win. W. I'm just going to run. I think she went downstairs. Come Don't on. touch me. They followed me in here. Uh, I'm not going down there. No way. Whoa. She's got your hack tool. It didn't work. We'll find another way out. We've been here too long already. They don't want to follow you, which is even scarier. That's fine. It's fine. What could possibly be done here? Run. Do, 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 do. Let's look at the map. Nice one, buddy. Wow, I'm so smart. Buddy, shake hands. Shake hands. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you for your help. Yes. Doing amazing. Doing amazing. Together, doing amazing. Chat, handshake. Thank you. Doctor, doctor. With the power of meta, two big balls. Oh, and now I have a med kit. What? Oh, I can attack. But I'll use this med kit. Wow, incredible. Handshake, doctor, doctor, doctor. Everyone in chat is handshake. Yes. was a man there. <laughs> I think I killed him, you guys. <laughs> ah! 
That's my womanly instincts, bitch. That's my fucking, those are my ovaries talking. I said, that's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> Well, apparently killing another human being is easy peasy. This lady's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Ma'am, I killed your man. Bro, wasn't the other guy black though? Lamau? Okay. Oh my god, look, space garbage. <laughs> That's so immersive. Uh, I'm very immersed right now. That's quotable. It's from King of the Hill. I'm not gonna lie, it's from King of the Hill, babe. Mainframe systems. The fuck is that sound? noise I just I I'm trying to take the W ladies okay wait 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 the data cell is here somewhere All right this is very descriptive I feel helped bro space kitty maybe You know, after you kill a man in cold blood with nothing but a med kit in your bare hands, um, it really changes your perspective. <laughs> How easy it is to kill a guy. When you watch the life. And tonight will be the night when I get over you. Hello? Is there's no one in the security station. Perhaps that's part of the problem. Oh, <gasps> you can get Za from the hot food vending machine. Okay, sorry. Ooh, save game. How long have I been going for? Two hours. Overwrite save data, surely. Sure. Sure, that's fine. Oh, <gasps> Dippy Bird. You guys suck. He's filled with blood. Oh, a gun. There was another gun that the other guy got that he when he fell down, but they wouldn't let me take that one. Key card, Pog. Key card, Pog. People, Pog. Wow. Blue thing. Highlighter. You know, nothing like an annotated copy of this man, this god, to really get you going in the morning. Scary closet. There's a young lady among us, I think. <laughs> Do you think she can smell me? Does she have smell? Ooh, map. I think she has smell. Right, okay. We Now we have more details. It's in the search tech support area for new data cell area. Perfect. Excellent, my favorite. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, was that just in there? Is it over here? Wait, 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 wait. But there's a scary young lady in the van. Use key card. I have key card. Hello, everyone. I'm announcing my presence. There's no one here. Excellent. Keep vigilant for spills. Is it weird that I kind of want this in my house? Would you let me hang this in our house? Keep vigilant for spills. 
This is a great kitchen poster. In my opinion. Keep vigilant for spills. Self-care break. Okay, I'll sip my tea. Actually, I think I'm going to go on an actual break in a minute. But I think first, maybe I'll find the, the Jimmy and maybe die. Record for how often I die when I've located a Jimmy. Hi. I've had a sip. Actually, buddy took me to Starbucks because I was having a difficult time, you guys. Ooh! I had a meeting today and it actually went great. You guys, my, my supervisor's so nice. <laughs> He's such a chill dude. It, do, it does help that because I'm an ancient old woman, me and my supervisor are like six months apart, <laughs> like in age, which is weird, truly. He was like, email me sometimes. Like, just tell me how you're doing. And I was like, that's nice of you to say, because I've been avoiding him. So he was like doing that thing that boys do when they're like, I was worried about you, but telling you that is kind of cring. So instead I'm just going to be like, hit me up sometime. Mother, I, can I want to eat the forbidden alien omelet. I don't think the alien eggs would make omelet, but I bet you could make fried rice with them. The more I describe the alien eggs as like meaty, like full of meat, the more enticed I am to eat them, to be really honest, which is, I feel like is not normal, but. What a sick carpet. Piss couch, rude. I don't want to go through there because it seems sus, so I'm not gonna. Instead, I will go down the hallway with the dead man in it. Creeper noise. That's fucked up if you do. Oh, hey, Gary. God. How you feeling? Oh, he got... She's scuttling, bro. Remember that the Scuttle. best way to gatekeep something is to be physically wider than the gate. That's gonna be okay. He got, he got really got. Look how encrunchened. Also, like, who makes a space station that just occasionally makes, like, a spider noise? Like a large balut egg? What's a balut egg like? Oh! With the baby inside? I never ate one of those. Um, I think it is kind of weird and kind of sad, but I would eat it probably if I wasn't vegan. Even more than two, do you think they would be keto slash vegan friendly? I don't think that the xenomorph would consent to me eating her egg, so not vegan. Having said, had having said that, oh, I'm not that disturbed. I know about the the baby chicken egg. I'm not terribly disturbed by it. She consent to her eggs. She would consent to her eggs eating me. That is true. I really want to go in there. I really do want to go in there, but I can't. Um, I think you, they do cook it, right? When you eat them. Um, but I, I've never, I never had it. It was never made available to me. Um, but I feel like the alien egg would oh, be God. the flight room. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Ma'am, don't. <laughs> what? Oh, she's busted, ladies. <laughs> no. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Awkward. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so should have stayed home. Stay focused. He's upset. Like if you were able to neutralize the acid in their blood, could you like a cooked scene more? Tense music, but why? Why are we playing tense music? What's the problem? What's scary? What am I supposed to do? Where's the, where's my Jimmy that I came looking for? Press E to use and for what? Hello? 
Hello? I'm not scared because I don't know what's going on. I think that the Xenomorph similar to a bug would be full of like goop. My Jimmy's not here. My red thing is broken. There's no alien. There's no man. It's just scary sound. Just scary bleeping noise. Why everybody bleep? Please don't bleep anymore. There's only one thing I can move. It's this thing. Oh! My Jimmy. Incredible. I've received Jim. Jim has been made complete. Okay, we've completed Jimmy as promised, and my mom is dead. So let's go on a break. <laughs> let's go on a break. Look, we've done it. So productive. I think xenomorphs would be like bugs, where inside they're goop and outside they're crunchy. Yeah. But, like, they wouldn't be crunchy, crunchy. They'd be, like, chewy, leathery, chewy, chewy. That's my opinion. And I don't think that sounds very appetizing. But I think the xenomorph eggs are, like, meat. I don't think they have a shell. I think they're, like, squishy on the outside. Like, squishy. Like, if you squeeze them, they'd be, like, a water balloon full of meat. Meat water balloon. And then if you explode them, you, like, cut them open. It would be like meat. It'd be like leathery, squishy, sticky outside. And then inside would be like meat. And then in the middle it would be wet. And then in the middle, middle would be like the baby. Yeah. They're so, full of acid. Yeah. So I don't think it would be tasty. But maybe you could like drain out the acid and like remove the like leathery, sticky, gooby outside pit, and then you just have the meat part of the egg, and maybe you could make, you could like cook it. That seems legit. But I don't think it would be tasty. I feel like- I think it would be horrible. Intentionally, it would taste bad. But, cause I, okay, because, here's my evidence. Evidence, predators taste bad. Predator animals don't taste good. They're stringy. You know what I mean? Prey animals nap and they like eat grass. So they're good to eat. Tasty. But predators are like stretchy and like stringy. They never nap. There's too much going on. Do you know what I mean? Not tasty. So if the xenomorph is the best predator, no pun intended, they probably are not good. Right? Does that make sense? I'm a genius. Okay, so let's go on a short break. Don't big caps nap like 20 hours a day. I'm sorry that I don't have an answer for this. <laughs> yes, but I feel like they're so powerful. And like a cow is chilling, right? But also we changed cows a lot. So maybe they weren't as good before. I've never had a moose, but I have had deer. And they're also more like, gamey. I don't know. There are ways to neutralize acids. But then I feel like it would taste bad. Right? Because you would have to neutralize it with like a base. I don't know. You have to like soak it? Both wild and nested cats spend 16 to 20 hours a day sleeping. But also I think cats aren't tasty. Like I think they're like stringy and greasy to eat. That's not from experience. I haven't eaten them. Bison is good. We haven't changed them much. True. I haven't eaten in a really long time, you guys. <laughs> I don't have good answers for this. Let's go on our break. I'm going to have a snack. We'll come back and then we'll continue. We'll figure this bitch out. Well, we've got our Jimmy now so we can open doors. Yeah. All right. See you guys in just a sec. I'll be right back. It maybe like five minutes. Okay. 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 See you guys soon. <laughs> Ain't got no bitches. Hello. 
I have a scallion pancake. It's very hot. She came out of the air fryer and I want to eat her really bad. So the question is, do I put her aside and play some video game? She is this. I've never bought these ones before. She's got sesame seeds in her like on. So I'm going to put her aside. We'll play a little bit of video game. Then I'll eat it. That seems like the best choice, right? light soy sauce that might be good i just eat them i just eat them naked usually i have chili sauce chili oil like sweet chili sauce chili oil plum sauce hoisin sauce soy sauce dumpling sauce and i made some mayo sauce a while ago like the kind of sweet sauce you get at like sushi places mayo so I have that in my fridge, actually, but I never eat them with sauce. I'm dunking the sauce of choice. That seems good. You can also wrap them around stuff, but I also never do that. Okay, the Jimmy's fixed. Oh my God, this freaking alarm's still going off. Okay, I need to go here. So we need to go, let's go through this vent. What a great idea. Down and through the vent, and then out through here. Logic. Wait. Down? Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this thing out. Uh. Oh, uh. What is this? Uh. God, does it need to be like that? Okay. I made the pancake? Yeah, I could. But I'm probably just gonna rip and tear. <laughs> Cause I'm a barbarian. Let me in. There's treasure in there. Okay. She's too hot to eat. I'm going to burn myself. Please give me treasure. Message from Marshall Wakes. This is Chief Porter and Tech Support. Look, there's nothing on this flight recorder, Wakes. We've broken God knows how many corporate confidentiality agreements and come up with zip. Nothing except the Wayland Utani logo and an empty readout. Now these things are built for lies. So either someone on board the Nostromo asked its mother corps to wipe it clean, or somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority? Oh, okay. Do we think it was wiped? The thingy? I don't think so. That seems dumb. But it got corrupted. Theoretically, nothing the alien did should have produced that result, I think. Am I, am I paused in the map, buddy? Do you know? Am I paused, actually? Okay. It seems like I am, so I'm just going to assume that I am. I... Does audio log count as treasure? Yes. Give me a break. Disable security lockdown. Okay. Disable security lockdown. Thank you for fart. Since the ship was blowed up, anything from EMP damage to shockwave could have caused problems. Mm, I suppose you're right. I feel like they make those things specifically to prevent that though, wouldn't they? Exclamation point. Exclamation point? 
Why? Why have I received an exclamation point? Is there a guy? Bro. Oh. That's locked. Tech workshop. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You're, you beep faster way too quickly. Okay. Hi, Ron. How are you? What is, uh? Will this help me or give me information or what? Chief, good news is that I'm about 80% through archiving Sevispol's internal mail system for the decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left... Oh, Apollo's like the AI mommy, right? Place for people still here. Bad news is that whoever set up the first place skimped on the hardware and we've had some leaks. Mike Tanaka, looking into it now. You specialist archivist. Sure. Oh, page down. Space station that nobody needed, run by a company we all forgot. It's now backwater, population is tense. Okay, so there was already low population before this happened. Docking bays are empty. The shutters are down, local stores and businesses. The orders for Siegson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up. Yeah, because they have the ussy neck, unlike Wayland's robot creatures who have the beautiful face of a middle-aged gentleman. The same middle-aged gentleman. <laughs> they all look like the same, like, 41-year-old guy. <laughs> How do we get here? More importantly, where have billions of dollars investment gone? Girl, ask Elon. No, wrong button. Uh... Pause the shit made by uh, AI. Yes. Competitor. Less capable standards than mother systems. Yeah. She's doing her best, honestly. And you know what? For that, I give her credit. I mean, there's only so much you can expect. I can't click scrap because I'm full. Mm -mm -mm. This is a no touchy computer. The beeping, bro. Oh, she smells the fuck out of me. Is she leaving? <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna eat my pancake. <laughs> is it cool enough to eat? Oh, it is. She, yeah, her tail is girthy feeling. Ooh, my pancake is a great temperature. Little bite of that. You want? Is this um, enough? Do you want another one? That's a very good breakfast. It's sesame seeds, this one. Well, it is. She's arrived. Mm. This pancake is delicious. What? You can. Pin my mother. I had my flu shot today and now I feel like totem butt. I hope you're doing well. Bunny, our girlfriend has arrived. That's my wife. My wife. My my young my young wife. My very productive wife. Bunny is your wife? No, the alien. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. She arrived. The alien arrived. Ah. Yeah. I see. I hope you feel better soon, Bunny. Watch the video. 
how the xenomorph AI works. Oh, that does sound interesting. Yeah, it's I, I I've I've watched that video. It's it's very cool. Oh yeah. Do you want another piece, bud? Uh oh. This one's from the middle. I'm okay. Okay. I'm eating this. What are you eating? Oh, this. You have a cookie. Don't forget your cookie. We have a cookie. We have a cookie. Dun, 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 dun. Communist Anson plays. I couldn't be your wife. She's my mom. Agreed. Yeah, you're just in time. I've decided to take a scallion pancake break immediately after the alien arrived. Yeah, sorry about the wedding cards. I didn't mean to presume anything about your own. Yeah, how very fucking dare you. That's not to say that Bunny's not gorgeous and totally wife material. Just that she's not my wife. You know what? Meta was right. It could use sauce. Now I am thinking about having sauce with it. Mm, it's fine. No, but I would put hoisin sauce on it. Well, the hoisin sauce is like sealed. And I'm more than halfway through my pancake. The other ones that I are more plain but somehow that makes them better naked but these are good i just got these at the asian grocery store they're a good size they fit perfectly in my air fryer there were some i was getting before that were huge so i had to like put them caterwalking in the air fryer and then they would always curl up on the sides when they were cooked. <laughs> well, you guys, the alien is here and she's walking. She's bipedal. She's moving. I don't really know what this means for us. We're trying to get on the elevator. How far into the game does that mean that we are? I have no idea. Oh. They're the perfect air fryer food bunny. You slap that bitch in the air fryer, you leave. You press the go button. Perfect. Mine punched it at like 350 for 15 minutes or something. This one I underdid a little bit because I was trying to get back for break. So it could be crispier, but yeah, it's perfect. I have pan fried them, which is good. Mmm. Pan frying, oh, you know what? The sesame seeds make it kind of nutty. This is great. Pan frying is better if you're going to wrap them around something. But I never know what to wrap them around. Tofu? I don't know about that. I don't know if I really want to wrap them around tofu. Vegetables? I have them for breakfast, actually. Pepperoni? Hmm. I don't know. We're vegan, so I don't have pepperoni in the house, but that might be good, actually. But do you want to bite it? Last chance. Your fried veggies. Yeah. You have, like, lettuce. And then, like, some... Cut veggies, like carrots and cucumbers, maybe, and then, like, hoisin sauce and chili oil. That might be good. And wrap it around. Right, like a tortilla. The old man leading the expedition AVP is Charles Bishop Wayland. Owner of Wayland. And the alien versus predator? Oh, I don't remember that. The Wayland Industries that will merge with Utani by 2137. Why the droid looks like a middle-aged man. His name is Bishop and Aliens. Oh. An alien Ash. Ashley. Also looks like a middle-aged man. And then in Prometheus, David is more hot. <laughs> right? 
Do they make a meat substitute? I'm not vegetarian or vegan, so I wouldn't know. They do. It just depends on what you're looking for. Like, I could put, like, vegan chicken nuggies in there. That might be good. Or, like, you can get this stuff at the Asian Grocery. It's, like, seitan, which is made of wheat. Gluten. Um, It's, like, popular not a lot of vegan spots, but it's, like, originally, like, a Buddhist food. So you can get this, like, Buddhist vegan meat at the Asian Grocery. It's a little sus in that it's, like, not really dressed up the way a lot of mock meats are in the year of our Lord 2023. Buddy doesn't love it, but I do like it. It's, like, kind of chewy. What don't I like? You remember the, the like, wheat meat that we got at the Asian grocery store the one time? It was just supposed to taste like sweet sour pork. Those, like, wheat gluten? They're little nugs. Nugs? Yeah, they were... The texture's not very meaty. In my opinion. They were okay. They're okay. They're good. But like a lot of things that are gluten, they just kind of they're are bread. Very chewy. It's very bread And they feel they like bread and they... Hit your tummy like a rock. Yeah. And they really fill you, you up. You are full law. Um, And as a bitch who likes to eat a lot, that's kind of a problem for me. Because <laughs> I like to eat a lot. Okay. <laughs> But they are good. There's like, we had one that was supposed to be like sweet and sour pork flavor. And we had another one that was like beef, strip flavor, special bell peppers and beef. I made my own seitan once for special bell peppers and beef. And it was actually good. And I was very pleased with my joke (laughs) on my special bell peppers and beef. Okay. Shall we continue? That's where she went. She's gone. Can we play less scary music for one second, ma'am? Yes. Oh, I found a cubby. I need this music to calm the fuck down. It's too much. Hi, baby. Beef, peppers, and bells. Yes. Sorry, just trying to get treasure. I just made that joke. I should go directly into the tube she just came out of. Did I turn off the security thing? Hold on, let's get... What are you doing? Fucking garbage can. Calm down. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay, so we need to hack the elevator. Oh, so we have to go through the alien door. Love that. Love that for us. Well, that's very sexy. All right. Let's go. You guys smell anything? Hmm? You think she has a sniff, the alien? I bet she smells like laundry detergent. I'm not even kidding. Stop making sounds. Is this a bin? No. Where'd she fucking go? Not through here. Is this where I'm supposed to go? This isn't even the right way. Up. <laughs> Wait. Bro, what? Oh. Oh, I gotta go down. Oh, I gotta go. Oh my god, I forgot that I gotta go back. Oh my god. You guys, I gotta go back downstairs, bro. And there's the guys with guns. That's so annoying, actually. <laughs> it's a haunted trash can. Ooh. Where does this lead out to? Oh, just the main area. Fuck. All right. Do you think, oh my God, do you think we're gonna have the, the alien eating more people? What do I do with the sound? <laughs> I'm sure the guys won't, and the guns won't eat much. Yeah, I'm sure they won't. Uh, I forgot. Okay.
Ma'am? Ma'am. I've been crouching around like a freaking idiot. We came from over here. Shut up. Stop playing scary sounds. Calm down. These scary noise trying to fuck my life up. Wait. Oh, I came from upstairs, actually, I think. I think I am down. This is where I killed a guy. There he is. He's dead. Oh, is this map? Oh my god. Let's crouch behind this thing and look at it. What did I get? Nothing. This is updated nothing. Fantastic. Think up another level. We're gonna horn fart for nothing. Where does this go? We're gonna find out, babes. Oh, oh. I heard you. I said hi, Phoebe. <laughs> oh, no. She's eating them, babes. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I have to go down there. Uh. Wait, let's wait till the screaming ends. I think I hear her. Thank you. I think that was the, the daddest sneeze we ever had out here. Excuse me, door. Can you not right now? Your amiibo evaporated into your pillow? Girl, what does that mean? It's just going to keep making scary noises until I go fucking down there, isn't it? Eventually, we're going to get eaten by the alien. Okay, so maybe that will distract her a little bit. Unless the speaker's exactly on top of where I'm supposed to be going, at which point... Fool me once, can't fool me again, bro. Where am I? Okay, let's look downstairs through the window. I don't see no fucking alien, but I do see a dead guy. Oh my god, T! Do you think she's down there? Yes. Oh my she's god. She's everywhere. What do you mean she's everywhere? So, like, part of her AI is that it drags her around sort of with you. So even if you feel like you've escaped from her, she will appear in your vicinity again. So, if the question is, is she where you are, the question, answer is yes. The best thing you can do is to stop being where you are. At all times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
<laughs> I could hear her clicking behind me. I wasn't. Her, when she starts fucking clomping at you, it's terrifying. You Jover. know it's over. Jover. Oh my god, where did I save? <laughs> Buddy, this is so tragedy. I'm dead. And that's the end of the story. That's the end of the game. I was. I'm so brave. You, you look death directly in the face. That's my. That's you my. Didn't, little... Like scream or run. Well, you no. screamed a little bit, but you didn't run. No. You just turned. You no. looked it in the face. Yes, I did. I did. I looked right at her. And, and you she, shit your pants. And I shit my pants. Like a real man. To be fair, everybody shits their pants when they die, you guys. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's not like I shit my pants scared. I Everybody shits their pants when they die. Yeah, but not everybody shits their pants before they die. Not everybody gets the privilege to shit their pants before they die. Okay. Not everybody gets the opportunity to shit their pants before they die. Where am I? My, I'm in Dippy Bird room. Do I have the thingy? Yes. I don't remember where we saved. Is it something to go to the Dippy Bird? Yeah. card required uh. all right let's go around collecting everything get oh this is annoying uh. oh i forgot i have gun uh. yeah i have gun you didn't know there was gun it's literally right here next to the no weapon until i got flamethrower it's next to the required key card you definitely had gun you're just bad at this game just so you know not that shooting guns gonna help. Oh, my flashlight's on. That's why you wear a diaper. That's real. That's real talk right yeah, that's there. That's why they wear diapers in space, not because. In case you shit your pants. Not because spacesuits are hard to get off, but because you have to, you know, shit your pants when you encounter real aliens that are real. Yeah. I still it's really. So good. Keep vigil no I'll see if I can actually find them because I know that a lot of people really like the posters. In this okay, game. but do they? Do everybody enjoy to be vigil no spills as much as we did? No, but I think that people just exported all of them. Yeah, probably there's just like a data pack with all of them. I want to go in there, but I need my Jimmy first. Okay, let's go cry because our mom's dead, and then we'll get the Jimmy. Everything's gonna be great. <clears throat> Oh no, the flight men, men. Oh god. <sighs> what? What? So sad. Okay, after we do this, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> There's nothing even good in that room though. <sighs> Single bolt to the head should kill the xenomorph, according to the movie. No. I don't think so because isn't her head made of like. Bro. Oh, it's over here. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, no, that's not it. Dude. What am I doing? Is this a puzzle? It's not even a puzzle, you just move them. I thought I was moving the same one. Let's get Jimmy. I'm still pissed about my plasma torch, to be honest. When there are more aliens, they die faster. Do you know what I mean? Like when there's a million of them, you shoot them and they just die. Just like regular people bullets? I don't, I don't know if I... I know a flamethrower was it part of it. Okay, let's save. Been gone for a bit, what happened? I died. I died. I'm die forever, thank you. No, or in the second alien movie, they, Ripley like lights up a couple Xenos and they just fucking run at her. 
She has that, like, pulse rifle. I don't know, dude. Don't look at me. I'm not an alien expert. I am a hacking expert, though. <laughs> Okay, well, we looked at this, it didn't really do anything, so let's go over here where we're gonna meet the young lady. Do I need to be, like, in the spa? But, I don't know. I, oh, yeah. My nightmares would love to let me believe that a xenomorph could be killed with just one single. It would make me feel a lot better. She's so iconic. She slurps out of there. And, like, there's zero percent chance that she can't fucking hear and see us right now. We would be dead, but it's okay. It's not about that. Also, why does she have back horns? Like, I know that's canon, but what is that about? Tubes? They just spikes? Space kitty. Yes. My wife. Because she is exoskeleton. But I don't know what the They seem tubular. Right? I, f I feel like maybe the tubes are like a kind of little closer to do the mother thing, but like... Oh, do you think so? I don't know. Any I don't know about that. I'm sure that there's some more. Okay. What do I... Oh, there was a map. Oh, but I think it's in the stairwell. Okay, so she's on the m main floor here. I need to be there. I turned on the speaker, but I think the speaker didn't help. A flare, maybe. I could throw a flare from the top level, but how far would it go? Probably just weaker alien in resurrection. Yeah, probably. Because if there's a million of them, you can't kill them at all. Then a movie about killing like 30 aliens is not going to work out. Do you know what I mean? But also, I don't remember Resurrection very well. Because it's been a really long time. I don't know. Like, keep in mind, they were, like, designed... The alien? Yeah. Mm. To be, like, a perfect predator. But do you think the Forerunners had gun, though? Maybe they didn't have gun. Maybe not. Maybe they don't know what guns are. I feel like they were smart enough to... Probably know. don't know what a Chevy is, either. They Am I right? They were smart enough to know that putting... <laughs> No, no, putting no. like a single kill button in your perfect predator is. Oh my god, maybe they're like an octopus with distributed brain. Yeah. <gasps> oh no, buddy, help, buddy! The nut isn't coming for you, dude. The Lily Shadow Cheer Deck sixty nine. The Ebeness is calling the nut me. Is running away Bad from time you. for me. He's Nini. <laughs> have fun. You are anti nut. What happened? You what? are allergic. Well, thank you for the 69 bits, but why did he leave? Why did he go away? <laughs> what happened? Benadryl. Wait a minute. Ah. Uh, that's the reason. That explains why all the throws have been so tiny. Nut. Why does it summon Peanut? It summons a giant nut. That's what 69 bits does. It summons a giant nut. It plays nut when it hits me. Nice. Yeah, it was the No Nut November. It's one. Of, it was one of the No Nut November redeems last in November. Why, why is No No Nut for this new one? Oh, it was. Well, it was nonstop Nut November. To be clear, also. Um. But Bunny just used it again. No, because that's sixty nine points. It just makes Nut noise. It doesn't make Nut. Nut. I understand. You have to pay money for Nut. The, the Germans. You think you can nut for free out here? No. <laughs> no. What do you think my strat should be, bud? Your strat? My strat. Should I just run again and see if it works no. a little? <laughs> Running is the wrong thing to do. Because it can hear you, but it can't see you. Oh, she can't see. Oh, so I can just scoot. Like, you need to you need to just sort of imagine Wait, that she can like hear you bumping into things she can hear you stepping she can hear you breathing you should be crouching basically anytime you're engaged with her how do i know when she's done being engaged like if you're pretty sure she's not around but, like she's gonna be around right now so you should 
get out of this area. I'm going. I'm leaving. Uh, uh, wait. I think I have to go down the hall. I think I have to go this way. Yes. There's no good treasure because all I can pick up is scrap and I'm maxed out on scrap. Those apertures opening always got me. Because it's like the doors and shit are so rude. Not considerate. Oh, here's the map I needed. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but I got it. Punk. Okay. So we go all the way up, I think, was what we needed to do. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And then I need to hack this door and I need to hack the one downstairs also. What is this? Eh? Play button? Okay, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Let's go. We're gonna go through this door. She's gonna be eating everybody. Gonna eat your oh, shoot. She's already gone. Okay. You can save it, right? <laughs> totally. Save all the time. I love to save. Okay, so she's here. Let's just try to sneak down there, see what happens. Let's wait till she's done being shot at. I'm like listening. I don't know, my my auditory sense is not very good and I don't know if maybe I don't think I hear her. Oh! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, yeah, here, let me sip my tea. I should just turn this fucking music off. here okay so i think i think the way it's gonna work is i won't be able to see her in the area that i know she's in right like i know i can use the terminal to like activate distraction but is that actually gonna help my headphones are dying that's fine i'm just gonna they're just gonna wait a minute That's wrong. Uh, 
That's the door? Yes. Okay. She's gonna, is she gonna hear me hacking? She will. Watch the wet floor. Wouldn't want to slip and hurt yourself. Yes. Agreed. What was that sound? It's the sound of me being like the loudest, wettest human being on earth. Let's stop here for a sec. Okay, we'll just stay still. Ah. that away, but what does that mean for me? He's an event? Okay, so I'm gonna do this now because, okay, very good. Calmer we are, the better. Door opens, gonna make a sound. I'm gonna go down. Oh, this is an elevator. Okay. Pog. No problem. <laughs> Watch the way. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Here, let me submit to you again. All visitors must report to reception. Make your way to comms. Okay, so she was she's in the vent somewhere. But who cares? Some people went uh, that away. Hi, Ren. Oh, there's a fucking robot, bro. Some people went through that door. Okay. I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to call it here for today. How long are we streaming for? Three hours. I mean, it was like 80% stun lock. Hello. My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seatson is losing the tech race. And you see the alien? Helmet! I'm going to call it here, I say, before immediately starting to scoop around. Button, 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 button. Button. Ooh, treasure. Got Ooh, you know what I need to do? I need to save. Was it saved? Wait. Was the game saved when I went in the elevator? Yeah. Oh, it was a creeper. <laughs> you guys are rude. Uh... For your comfort and reassurance, our working Joe synthetics are designed to be instantly recognizable. Surveys have shown that consumers are often uncomfortable dealing with advanced human real androids. Seeks and working Joes are unmistakable, so you always know exactly who you're dealing with. Be reassured. That's the Seeks and promise. They Your taught me about alien. They taught me about people. Priority. Now they're teaching me about robots. And I have a feeling the lesson about robots is going to be... Don't fuck with the robots. Now that I'm safe in a cupboard, no one can touch me. I will simply remain in the cupboard. <laughs> All right, let's do a raid, shall we, guys? I hope that you had fun on the stream, even though I was never scared, because I never become scared, ever. <laughs> we're going to be playing more Alien when are we playing more next week. Yeah. N oh, no. Next week is Friday the 13th. We're going to be playing Phasmo with my homies. So I hope you look forward to that. But the next stream is actually tomorrow, and tomorrow is going to be tarot readings for everybody. So look forward to that. Bonker streaming. Let's see who's here. Uh, I suppose you'll probably get me to do a couple tarot readings. Oh, yes, I probably will because we owe some people tarot readings. Let's see if there's any other uh, VTubers in Alien Isolation. Do, do we know who those people are so I can. I have a list. I will prepare for you a list. Maybe I can start channeling. Channeling your energies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll bring you the list.
Always glad to play GPS and strategy guide for you. Thank you. You know what? Truly, genuinely, as a person who doesn't know where the fuck I am, like in real life, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> thank you for the stream. Of course. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you had fun. I hope you're excited for tomorrow. We have a cool VTuber. Bunny fights some oh my god is the name of the stream. So scary aliens in space alone. Monka S. We're gonna raid Lauprit. Lauprit. She seems like cool and pretty. We'll make a new friend together. So yes, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here's a raid message for y'all. And I appreciate you. Um, and I hope you enjoyed listening to me eat a scallion pancake. That's all I have for you. <laughs> so yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Please be good. Please be nice to Lao Perit. Lao Perit. Mm? And uh, please be good and have a good night. Naomi, what the hell? Naomi, I've, uh, I'm making the raid. The raid's been made. Naomi, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate yeah, you. I hope you had fun playing Parasocial. Made me interesting. Might make one of my own. Enjoy. They're very tasty. I get them frozen at the Asian grocery, but you can't make them in the shelf. They're not that hard. Um, Naomi, thank you. I hope you have a beautiful night. I'm sorry I'm leaving. Raiders, I'm going. I'm so sorry. I hope that you have a beautiful night. We're going to raid Lauper, who's also playing Alien Isolation. It's, it's scary. I got eaten today. I, uh, I hope you're having... I'm going to be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you would like to be here for, wait, for that, it's going to be tarot readings. We're going to give tarot readings to everybody tomorrow. And have a good night. And thank you for the raid again, Naomi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.